Thank you, Dr. Cook. Wow, a lot of people. Well, welcome, families, friends, faculties, and staff. And congratulations to my class, class of 2008. Today, I could think of no better way to begin my speech than to express my deepest appreciations and gratitude for those who supported us and guided us throughout our journey thus far. We thank our professors who have exposed us to new ideas and new perspectives about our world. We thank you for challenging us and preparing us for such a magnificent moment. We thank our families and friends for being there for us for showing us your love and support. Most of all, thank you for believing in us. Without you, we wouldn't be here today. My fellow graduates, you did it. All the hard work, or you wouldn't be standing here today. As I look at you today, I see happy faces. For some of us, we are delighted because we are the first person in our families to ever graduate from college. I was born in a small village in East Africa, Romia. I came to this country when I was 16 years old. My mother never went to school, and my father, who has been working as a dishwasher to prepare me for this day, has only a fourth grade level of education. I learned how to read, write, and speak in English language after I came to America. I graduated from Jefferson High School in 2003 and started PSU in the fall of the same year. It wasn't an easy road for me. Since English is not my first language, I had to take two years of ESL in high school. By the time I was a senior, I was told that, in spite of my solid GPA, my level of English would prevent me from attending any university. I went ahead and applied to PSU anyway, and PSU gave me the opportunity to succeed. I was also awarded various scholarships, including the Diversity Recognition Scholarship. Thanks to PSU, my father can now proudly say that he too had a son with a university degree. <laughs> Regardless of our path, we should never forget that we are the fruits of Portland State University. Now, PSU has entrusted us with sufficient knowledge to change our world, but the question is how? To me, changing the world starts from changing yourself and striving to contribute to your world in a micro level. Think globally, act locally. And what is a better way to act locally than to becoming a mentor? In my opinion, by helping a child understand the value of education, you have made an enormous contribution to your world. Nelson Mandela, one of the greatest leaders of our time once said that education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Today, we stand here well equipped with that weapon, and each one of us has an obligation to utilize that weapon effectively. We must use it to fight poverty, illiteracy, corruption, racism, sexism, and to promote love and peace that our world needs so much today. The knowledge we have accumulated from Portland State in this past four, well, for some of us, five years, is adequate to benefit not only ourselves, but others. There is a saying in my language, Ifa huboke sa hintain, roughly translated. This means, do not be among those whose knowledge benefits only themselves. Thus, let us share our knowledge with others. Let us become mentors and positive role models to those most in need. We are now educated and we have a social responsibility to help others achieve what we have achieved. As you leave this commencement today, I challenge every one of you to pause and think about the millions out there who never had the same opportunity. Thank you and once again congratulations.
Thank you, Mr. Warich.